Right now at 8, a heart-stopping pursuit comes to a crashing halt overnight. What set off the wild chase that took the life of the suspect? Plus, round two, Fox News' golden boy versus the governor of the Golden State. What happened when Sean Hannity criticized California to Governor Newsom? Good morning, everyone. I'm Erin Myers here at the Los Angeles Country Club, where they're getting ready for the fourth and final round of the U.S. Open, and it is going to be quite the tournament. I'll have the details coming up. And we're starting off with cloud covers this morning, but we will see some nice clearing for most of us over the next several hours. Temperatures today, you'll notice a difference, much cooler. We'll talk about the rest of Father's Day and the work week coming up. Good morning. Welcome to the KTLA Morning News at 8 a.m. I'm Pedro. And I'm Lauren Lister. We thank you so much for joining us on this Father's Day. We're wishing a very special one to all of the dads, stepdads, grandfathers, and people who are thinking about their father that passed away today. We're seeing all of your photos, Absolutely. and they are great. Yeah, anyone who's a father figure in your life, please share your photos with us. We're going to be showing them all day long. And Casey, can we bless our dads with some beautiful weather today? Here in Southern California, I would say yes, for the most part. By this afternoon, it'll be really nice, especially by the time those leaders tee off for the U.S. Open at the Los Angeles Country Club this afternoon. But right now, we're seeing cloudy skies for the most part. Again, it will take longer for the marine layer to clear today than yesterday. We got really lucky yesterday. 60s for most of us right now with cloud coverage. And as far as temperatures for this afternoon, we'll We'll still see triple digits for Palm Springs, 81 for Ontario, 72 in Long Beach, 66 in Santa Monica today, and 81 in Santa Clarita. Back to you. Casey, thank you. A high-speed pursuit in Pasadena comes to a violent end when the suspect crashes into innocent drivers. This all started around midnight when CHP officers noticed a white sedan with no lights swerving in lanes on the 110 freeway. The driver refused to pull over and instead tried to speed away. Eventually, that suspect got off of the freeway at Glen Arm Street and crashed into those cars that are at a stoplight. You see all that damage there. The suspect was killed in that collision. Four others victims uh, in this accident were rushed to the hospital this morning. The area now blocked off until 10 a.m. as officers continue their investigation. And an 11... Adonis Childress first attacked the child's mother yesterday morning. He then dropped her off at a local hospital but drove away with the baby still inside the car. Hours later, that child was located, but Childress got away. He's a suspected gang member and is considered armed and dangerous. So if anyone has information, please contact LAPD. Fox News' is Sean Hannity releasing more of his interview with California Governor Gavin Newsom and in it. He got heated, fighting back against claims there's been a mass exodus from California. Take a listen. But the migration Ten. numbers don't, don't belie they that? Were, they were anomalous in the last few years, and they've already slowed down. There's been three independent studies, Sean. You should take a look at them, including a brand new one from UCLA that has talked about okay. fundamental reasons. You're asking me to you look at a UCLA study? Know, but the point Seriously? Is, but my point is, why don't we make it UC I'm Berkeley? interested in the facts, not no. the assertions. I mean, again, we were number 10 on that list. You didn't talk mm. about all those red states that have opposite policies that you embrace. Something clearly is not working right in those states. I've been hearing these same points, certainly from Fox for decades. You're in a doom loop about California. The release of this clip comes after Hannity aired other parts of his discussion with the governor earlier this week. In that, Newsom blasted Florida Governor Ron DeSantis over his treatment of migrants. Apple introducing new content filter that blocks unsolicited new photos. The sensitive content warning blurs photos and videos that might be explicit. Users can choose whether to unblur the photo or block the person who sent it. Apple says this gives more power to the users who receive unwanted new, nude images and videos. The feature is one of several included in the recent iOS 17 update. Apple says the new feature will be available for all Apple devices. Who's this? It's AI Ashley from Live 95.5. What's your name? Okay, that was DJ Robobot on the beat. For the first time ever, a radio station is using artificial intelligence DJ as a midday host. AI Ashley can be heard over the sound waves on Live 95.5. That's a music station in Portland. The station's content director says AI Ashley's voice is a clone of DJ Ashley Z, a real human being. At the moment, the station is in control of AI Ashley and how she operates, but they are considering a segment.